Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and today we are going to answer all the questions that you have asked on my most popular video where the tempered glass broke. Whoa! First of all, the title is called Can My Airsoft Break Tempered Glass? Because I've started with my airsoft Desert Eagle. That gun could not break the glass, so we went to BB guns. Airsoft guns, by the way, use plastic BBs and can be powered by electric, green gas, red gas, or CO2 capsules. The Don Wesson BB gun uses CO2 and steel BBs which are 4.5 millimeters in diameter and they weigh 0.35 gram. These are 6 millimeters in diameter. Oh, by the way, I also bought a chronograph. So now we can finally see the FPS that the Don Wesson will produce and all my other BB guns. You can use it also for a crossbow or real guns. You can connect it with your smartphone. There is a cable included. I think it's four meters long. It can measure from five to 10,000 FPS. But to get it to work, I had to buy and place LEDs <clears throat> on top of the sensor here because otherwise you will not get a reading. So keep that in mind. I have also built a switch and a battery to the LEDs. This is just for now. I will find a better solution with a bigger battery. Because I could not uh, measure the FPS with steel BBs with this reader right here from Lupro. This is only designed for uh, six millimeter plastic BBs. All right, next question. I have a whole list. Uh, the glass was weakened. Uh, with all the hits from the previous guns, uh, that could be true, but I did another test in another video with two new glasses. Did you get hit in the face? Yes, I did. I was wearing eye protection, I always do, but <clears throat> it hit me right in the nose. Uh, the price for the Don Wesson. I just polished it. So the price was 129 euros. The complete name of this gun is the Don Weston from the brand ASG. And this is the 8 inch version, that's the barrel length. You also have a 6 inch version, that's about this, and a 4 inch version. And this one, as I've said, uses CO2 and steel BBs in 4.5 millimeters in diameter. You can also buy this gun um, with airsoft BBs. And no, you cannot. Um, use it on the same gun because the barrel diameter within has a different diameter. Also you cannot use pellets or steel BBs with the same gun because they also have a different barrel and different shells. With the steel BBs you push them in 
in the front here and if you have pellets you have to turn the cap off put a pellet in and turn it back on also the pellets cannot break anything and no i cannot do a free giveaway because it's not allowed in my country to ship guns or receive them all right next question is this don Wesson deadly no it is not especially not to a human because you will need at least 100 joules of energy to harm or kill a human but that being said it will be very painful to get hit by this gun you guys also asked the fps and the joule well we are going to find that out because i have a new device to test that all right let's see what this baby can do i'm very curious uh, we're also going to put some more tension in the spring inside to see if we get more fps but that will be for another video All right, so the two first shots were above 400 FPS and the first shot was almost 450. But then it dropped below 400 FPS. And yes, it was a fresh can of CO2. The shots that followed after that were always between 350 and 380 fps all right now we can calculate the kinetic energy of the don wesson because everybody is so hung up on fps numbers but that number alone doesn't mean anything because if you have a very light projectile it will go very fast and if you have a heavy one it will go very slow but with this formula we can calculate the kinetic energy so these are all the fps numbers of the don weston if we add them up we have 2365 fps divided by the six numbers then we get an average of 394 fps which is 119.78 meters per second we also know the mass which is the bb <clears throat> and it weighs 0 0.35 gram now we can use it in this formula to calculate the kinetic energy and we get this number 2.51 joules of energy i also did some other calculations for instance if we want 100 joules of energy with a bb that weighs 0 0.35 gram we need a speed of 2486 fps and if we want also 100 joules of energy but with a weight of 10 grams we only need 465 fps i hope you now have a better understanding of fps and kinetic energy Anyway, thanks for watching, don't forget to like the video and maybe subscribe for more and you all have a nice day, bye!